the new Houdini 21 comes with a bunch of image filters right into your viewport. Now, this is all derived from the extra CopNet filter features that it comes with. Really nice addition. Press this button over here to activate the image filters. Now, it's activated, but nothing is happening. That's because I don't really have any. You have to actually set it up first. So right click, come to new filter list. Let me move this to the side and let's add something. Let's add uh, HSV adjust. So this is really nice to have out of the box in Houdini so easily available and you can change the image right in the viewport. So this is what you would do in color grading software like in DaVinci or in Photoshop or in Adobe Premiere or After Effects, any sort of compositing software. But this comes right out of the box of Houdini. So this may save you a few bucks if you only need that little bit of touch up and you don't want to re-render the entire scene. So that is huge. If you just wanted a screenshot, this is even easier because it's plugged straight into the viewport. So if you press this button, right click, save image that you can save whatever you see onto disk. Just pick a spot, save it. Very, very handy. Now there's more than one image filter. There's tons for you to play around with. Chromatic apparition. So this is really fun. Now all these image filters here are available in Copernicus as well. So you can do way more advanced things in Copernicus. This is more like a shortcut. I thought it was awesome to have because it's very simple to use. You just plug in it. It's just a button click away. If you don't like it, turn it off, turn it back on. It's plugged directly into your viewport and you can switch the order as well. So let's see, let's see if it has exposure. If you wanted to brighten up your scene a bit, okay, it has brightness. You can do some very simple color grading and touch ups onto your scene. Pixelate, this one will be fun. Let me turn off the brightness uh, and chromatic apparition. <laughs> this is nice to have. So I'm just gonna leave this open so we can compare some of these names. Uh, let me start a new cop net. Let's go in and remove that. And we go down to filters. You'll see color correct. Um, let's look for the chromatic aberration. Oh, you know what? I can just type it in. Chromatic aberration, it's right here. So they're this essentially the same thing. I just wanted to enlarge this panel so you can have a side-by-side -side view. Uh, it's exactly the same panel. So everything in available in here in the image future, the viewport is available in Copernicus. Bright. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to type it in. I can't find anything without typing it. Uh, brightness, HSV, contrast, chromatic aberration, and much, much more.